now that our form is complete, it's time to send it to the people who need to fill it out. Before we click the send button, I'm going to click on the gear or the fidget spinner icon and um, just look at a couple of these options. Uh, there are several options that can help you restrict who has access to your form, um, such as people within your district or only allowing people to fill it out one time. I'm going to click on the presentation tab. When someone submits the form, they will see the confirmation message. Now, by default, it just says, thank you, your response has been recorded. But you can customize that to say anything you want. You can see I've, uh, I've added a message there. You can also add in links or further instructions if you need to in this uh, spot to help uh, clarify what people need to do next. I'm going to save that. Now, there are several ways to send this form to the individuals who need to fill it out. The first and kind of most obvious option is to click this send button. And this is essentially like uh, sending an email. So you'd fill out um, an email address and it connects with your, uh, your Gmail account so it uh, can be filled out. Subject and message and when you click send it sends an email. Um, you can click this box and the form will actually be included in the email. That doesn't work with all email service providers. Um, it works best if you're sending it to people with Gmail or Google Apps um, accounts. Um, if the email can't receive the form itself, it'll just have a link to that form. So that's option one. If you have a small number of people that you need to send uh, your form to, that's a very easy way to do it. Now we can also click the um, chain icon up at the top here and we can grab the link to this form. So this is the actual URL to our finished completed form and uh, we can shorten it if we want that link can be copied and pasted into an email that you're going to send yourself, um, can be put on a website, um, posted in a Google document, uh, thrown up on Twitter, wherever you want to uh, post it. Alternately, the third option is to click the embed code here and you can use this code to embed the form into your website. This should work with pretty much any modern uh, website building tool, whether it's WordPress or Wix or Squarespace, uh, and then certainly Google Sites as well. You have a few customization options there. Uh, just copy and paste that into a uh, HTML block uh, on your website. So those are your different options. Um, you know, if you have been accustomed to clicking the eyeball to view your form, you can also copy that link right there. It's the exact same link that we looked at. Um, it's just a little faster to get to it this way. But essentially, you need to get your people, the people who need to fill this form out, to this website. And you can do that by grabbing the link uh, from the top of your screen.